Want to find out how to one phase Buddy and Lucy? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do it. As of uh, this is Laser Bowl today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to cheese Buddy. Yeah, boys, Gouda, 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 how to cheese Buddy and how to one phase them to make your life a little bit easier when doing this encounter. Now, there are a couple of requirements that you're going to need in order to do this. But if you guys have these requirements, you guys should be able to do this fairly easily. Now, big shout out to everybody who helped me on the Xbox One while we, I was trying to LFG this. Thank you guys for your patience and uh, hanging in there tough trying to get this completed. Also, Jonathan for showing us exactly how to get this completed with his video. I'll link it down in the description down below as well. And I'll show you guys a little bit of gameplay. Now, before we dive in and talk about how to get this completed, I want to remind you guys about our free monthly giveaway. We're giving away a pair of Turtle Beach Recon 70s for any console of your choice to enter. It's super easy. All you got to do is click the link where it says Joint Bull Nation in the description down below and you will be automatically entered. So good luck to everyone. So what exactly do you need to one phase buddy? Well, what you will need is you will need everybody in your fire team or in your group to be running the sharpshooter specialist. The reason why we want to do this is because we want to make sure everybody has access to the TAC-50 sniper. Another thing you want to make sure when you guys switch over to the sharpshooter class, you want to make sure that the skill on your skill tree where it gives you maximum damage with your signature weapon, you want to make sure that's completely filled. The next requirement you're going to need is you want to make sure you have two people within your group that are running the complete set of the Aces and Nates. The reason why you need the complete set is because you want to make sure that they're able to proc the Aces and Nates. The Aces and Nates is a buff that when you get it procced, it's going to give you 100% weapon damage. Now, the good thing about this is that this stacks up. So if you get two people with Aces and Nates, instead of 100 damage, you're going to be able to output 200 damage. Now, after LFGing a couple of times in the Xbox One, a lot of people don't really know how Aces of Eights works or they are not used to using the gear set. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick explanation so you guys don't run into this problem. So the way Aces and Eights works is the following way. Basically, what's going to happen is when you have the gear set, you're going to notice that there's cards that appear at the bottom of your screen. Each card will be flipped dependent on where you shoot someone. If you shoot someone in the body, it's going to flip one card. If you shoot someone in the head, it's going to flip two cards. What we're looking to achieve here is we're looking to proc aces of eights. The way you know that you have aces and eights is when you see your first card be an ace or an eight. And when you see your second card be an eight or an ace. Basically, you want to get the combination of an ace and an eight. Once you get this combination, you know that you're going to be getting the buff. Now, as a quick example, let's say that the first card you spin has an ace. Let's say that the second card you spin has a number eight. You already know that you're going to be getting aces and eights. So you're going to need to flip two additional cards, either by getting a headshot, which will flip two, or getting two body shots, which will also flip two. Once you have these two cards flipped, you are already ready to activate the talent. But you're also going to need to let your team know that you already have the aces and eight. Your next shot will activate the talent. Now, remember, guys, if you shoot a headshot, you're going to flip two cards and you're going to lose the buff. So you got to make sure that your next shot is a body shot. So you only flip one card. Once that one card is flipped, then you have activated aces and eights. This is going to allow everybody in your raid team that the next five bullets that they shoot is going to give a hundred damage. You want to make sure that two people are proccing the aces of eights so you could get that 200 damage like i said earlier ideally in your raid team you want to make sure that everybody that's running with you has a really good high damage to elites and a really good high headshot damage or all weapon damage because that's what's going to make this go a lot more smoother you don't really need any sort of build for everybody else that's running everybody could just run different sets of gears that gives them really high damage to elites or really high weapon damage because your main objective here is outputting as much headshot damage and as much damage as you can with your tag 50. all right so now that you guys know the requirements you're probably wondering all right laser what are the instructions what do i need to do in order to get this one face now there are two ways you could actually run this if you have one person that has really good damage to elites really good damage you could technically do a 1-7 strat if you don't have one person that has really good damage, you could do a 2-6 strat. That means you'll have one person in Lucy and seven people on Buddy, or you'll have two persons on Lucy 
and six people on Buddy. Now, once you press the button to start the encounter, Lucy and Buddy will spawn and they will head towards the middle area. Once they're in the middle area, Lucy's going to do her little spin. And after she's done with her spin, the counter kind of starts right now. What you want to do is the person that's in charge of Lucy is going to press the computer so he could draw aggro. And one person that's in charge of Buddy will also press his computer to grab aggro from Buddy. You're going to want to make sure the person that's responsible of dragging Lucy to either take him to whatever section of the map they feel comfortable taking him. You could either take him to the bar or someone could take him into the blue room. Both sections work well. It's going to be all dependent on your raid team. Your main objective as of right now is to try to get them down to two bars. It shouldn't take that long. You should be able to get them down to two bars fairly easily. Once the two bars have been depleted from both Lucy and Buddy, now it's time to activate the one phase strat. You're going to want to make sure that the people who have the Aces and 8 gear set already have their Aces and 8 ready to go. If you guys want to know how exactly you're able to get your Aces of 8 to proc fairly fast, is remember as soon as Buddy and Lucy spawn, you're able to start shooting them and when you start shooting them, you should be able to start flipping cards. So you should have your Aces of 8s ready to go as soon as their two bars are down. Once Lucy does her spin face, someone on the other team that's in charge of Lucy is going to tell you guys she's spinning. Once you hear the call that she's spinning, as soon as she is done spinning, the two people that have the Aces of 8s are going to shoot Buddy so we could get that stack and that buff to make sure we have that 200 damage. Once the two people who have the Aces of Eights say that it's time to shoot, everybody in the team will pull out their tag 50s. And you're going to want to make sure you aim for the head of Buddy. The head of Buddy is indicated by glowing green. You're going to want to make sure you get those shots on that green light and you should be good to go. If you do this correctly, you'll be able to one phase Buddy. And then after that, all you have to worry about is Lucy. You don't have to worry about Buddy anymore and you should be able to get this completed. This is actually pretty effective due to the change that Lucy and Buddy got with the update number four. It's going to make your life a little bit easier and I believe it's going to be kind of the meta to go to when doing this encounter. You're able to swap to any set of gear as long as he has really good damage, headshot damage and damage to elites. So you really don't have to worry about having a specific build. And there you guys have it. That is how you one phase buddy within this encounter. If you guys have any questions regarding this, make sure you guys let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try to answer them in a timely fashion. I do hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, I want to say thank you because I I know you guys are definitely going to smash that like button and you're also going to be sharing this video with your friends and trying out this strat. If you would like to show additional love and support, do consider joining the Bolt Nation to join. Super easy. All you got to do is click the join Bolt Nation link in the description down below and you will be entered into monthly giveaways and also unlock exclusive features only found on the channel. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget WGATAP and I will catch you guys on the next video.